All right, we got original Speedy from the Bronx, New York City Breakers, brother. So how do you feel about coming out to the freestyle session this year? It's a freestyle session. It's mind-blowing, bro. Um, first time here. Heard so much about it. Seen a lot of uh, b-boys come up in this event. And for my experience today, it's like overwhelming, man. To see the pop is pop and the break is break. And now they just added the, like a freestyle at, um uh, segment to it, which was whacking, house, hip-hop, crumping, which was really dope. But to see people from all over come here and really represent, um, again, it's mind-blowing, bro. Overwhelming, man. I could not stop taking pictures, videoing, and just capturing the moments for what it's worth. Right, right. So what year did you actually get into breaking? No, you started popping first, right? Yes, it wasn't even popping. It was called Electric Boogie. Okay. And started in 81. And I was with a crew called the 3D Crew, mm. and uh, it was me, Kenny, and E.T. That was the, my partner's names, and we started it started in my block up on Burnside Avenue in the Bronx, and we started practicing with each other, and then all of a sudden uh, we end up, you know, getting a little name, and then we end up having a manager, Michael Holman. No. Oh. His name is Gordy. Oh, Gordy. Okay. Gordy was our manager, but he was also Africa Islam's manager. Okay. At the time. This is back to 82, 83. Mm -hmm. So my first uh, video that I did uh, was Africa Islam's video. So we started doing shows. Um, we did a performance in the Roxy's mm -hmm. with Africa. Anytime Africa Islam was involved in something, we were his dancers, in other words. Um, and was he original Zulu Kings? For before B Boys? Zulu. <laughs> I think he said you in know? the interview he was down with the Zulu Kings, like for, for the B Boys. Oh, see, I've never heard him say that. Yeah, I heard him say extent. that. So then you heard it from the horse's mouth. Okay. Which, is, yeah, there's no more for me to say. Right. But I knew, I heard about him being Zulu from Rhyme Syndicate. That was the first time I heard of him. Really? Yeah. Yeah, at that time I was young, so I didn't, you know, grasp the the the, the, the concept of being of Zulu or whatever. I mean, 3D was my first crew, so it was just focusing on the dance and, you know, um, the, uh, becoming popular and trying to be the best you can be mm -hmm. to rep your 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 little hood, your you know, your areas where you grew up at. You know what I'm saying? And to me, the first person that I seen that was. Uh, Inspired, I was inspired by was Mr. Freeze. Oh, Mr. Freeze. Okay. Mr. Freeze. What year was that? 84, 83, 84, around there. Okay. But I heard so much about him as I started learning the dance that he had a broad name throughout the, the, the five boroughs. Mm -hmm. And for you to have a rep just told you how good you were. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, developing the book, the electric book at the time, I started growing uh, you know, getting a reputation, and uh, it started getting up there. Like Freeze was here, I was here, and then right. started climbing. Before you know, our both our names started ringing bells, and uh, people wanted us to battle. And at that at that at that moment, after that, like a year or so, you know, uh, we ended up battling. Okay. Yeah. You know, we finally had that moment where I smoked him. Hold that, Mister Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, let me, <laughs> that's crazy. So, how do you feel about the b boy scene today coming from like the early 80s and where we're at in 2022? Like, what's your opinion on it? Like, it's, it's always, always, how can I say what's the word I'm looking for? It's, uh, it's always changing, it's yeah. always growing. You know what I'm saying? Um, is it kind of, for me, I was watching it today. It's like I'm just having trouble because I'm like old. Like I said, we're old school, so we like to see footwork, freezes, yeah. combinations. But I'm just having trouble when they're grabbing their leg and they're putting it through the other leg and they're sliding around the floor, grabbing it. I'm having trouble with that. Okay. You know, just that portion of it. But they're phenomenal. Mm. You know, what I'm saying. Um, if you're going to do the leg thing through grabbing the thing, I, I can see that in air freezes. When they mm -hmm. do air freeze in the ground, boom, they break the leg. They grab, you know, I'm kind of used to that level of breaking. But it's just, 
I was at uh, yesterday. I was at a uh, uh, it was like a class or something they were giving, and I seen how he was teaching them how to grab your legs, swing it around. Spin. But then I kind of understood it finally yesterday how it goes into other combination moves where you know uh, a different how can I say is power mm. power moves get those air freezes from grabbing your legs so I'm still like eh. but it's phenomenal I love it I love it nice nice so um what, what, what's your goals for um as far as next year like going into 2023 do you guys think you got like events coming up in the Bronx or well right now me and London are just networking right now networking yeah just networking and seeing um, how can we do something different and take something old and make it new again because it's a new generation right you understand what I'm saying so we're gonna sit brainstorm and see how we can uh, kind of like I'm hoping to, to lift up New York again okay the scene is like mm, is it yeah it is but it, it, wow. I mean, when I started doing events in the 90s with London and stuff we uh you know, we got three, four hundred people, maybe five. That was a lot. Mm -hmm. Now it's like 180. Yeah. 200 the most. You know, it's... It's changed, it's gotta, huh? Yeah, it's changed a lot, you know. But, you know, hopefully we can really, with this thing happening with the Olympics, we can raise new eyebrows. Right. New interests, you know. And, uh, you know, with uh, the people in New York, the, the B-boys that I know that are working in with that next generation we can just see if we can recruit keep recruiting to build that that audience mm -hmm. do you have any um favorites today like with the new generation like for me <clears throat> i like when i look at the east coast i like um tata from the beast coast he's in a crew called beast coast he's from right. brooklyn right and i think i know tata i'm bad with names when it comes to people. yeah but tall brother one, yeah tall Are you lanky talking about kids or you're talking about adults because the uh, you, this oh you know who I like though too is Pop, Pop yeah. from the Bronx Street Masters. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was talking. Yeah, ma yeah maybe shooting like around like his age, like the 20, 21 bracket. Right. Like who do you like? Kid Break is yeah. one of my favorites out of the the kids right now. Okay, you know? hold this Kid Break. Thirteen. I just seen them on a Disney movie this morning. Oh yes, they just found it. Bob showed me they filmed it. They found yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. It's Bob showing me the rough behind the scenes uh, footage of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, I can't name names, but I know exactly what you're talking about when it comes to those guys. And again, you know, getting back in, going out there, seeing this other generation because the generation that 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 I'm uh, that um that I'm talking about, the hearing now, mm -hmm. they looking up to the '90s, uh, the 2000 guys that came right. behind us. So you know, it's like really hard to like re reintroduce yourself mm -hmm. you know um, when it comes to that new generation like they heard but they never seen exactly they heard but they never seen you know with them they heard and seen mm -hmm. you know so they follow them a lot at this point but you know as long as we show up and we you know we make our presence known little by little you know and it's their responsibility to educate them as well as far as the history is concerned mm -hmm. which I you know most of them do not all of them so when we think of the West Coast, who would you say on the West Coast? Even if it was like back in the day or current, like what was the the, the crew? only ones I could tell you is Style Elements. Style you know, Elements, Crumbs, Ivan, Ariston. You never heard about California? Not really. California is killing. It was killing everybody out here. See, Basically, it's another version of Style Elements, but they just call. Next the, generation. Yeah, it's like they got members that's in that crew that's not a part of Style Elements, right. but the people that's in California is is Style Elements. Right. See. Not that we're even aware of that, but okay. Again, I'm here to. When I came here, I want to see. Like I, I got to hang out with Poe One. One of my, I'm a big fan of his. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Crumbs, and uh, to see that authentic popping, locking. That's what I really came down to see. Like you know what I'm saying? Um, and and to see the breakers, the breakers that yeah that are here and now. Mm -hmm. It's overwhelming though. Overwhelming. It's like I was excited to come down. What was it about style elements that you say that intrigued you about that crew? That it, it was their attitudes. They were just on fire. They were dynamic. Um, they just no prisoners. 
They were like out <laughs> to serve everybody, like really. And I've never seen that compassionate enthusiasm in, in, in a group in such a long time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, because if you go back to see B Street and and uh, Rocksteady and New York City Breakers in B Street, you don't see that 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 dynamic energy the way Style Elements did with the, uh, what was the crew, uh, Renegades? Yeah, Renegades. Yeah, when they battled. So it was like explosion. It was like, whoa. Yeah, next I was level. there. Next level. Yeah, I know you was there. I was there. So to you, <laughs> to me, when I first saw it, it was explosive because the energy, that energy, we never really seen in the 80s. Right. Like, someone like Ivan, explosive. Mm -hmm. I mean, something like Ivan, it was close to... The dynamic, like dynamic, you know what I'm saying? Um, that was it when you start flipping and doing all that stuff. Yeah. You know? So you get that little flashback moment, you know? But the energy, bro, the energy was bananas. It True. made you want to watch more of them. Yeah. And that's how it was for us in the East Coast. Okay. One more other question, though, because um, I know we want to keep it too long. Yeah. If you can look back at your younger self, and you see, you know, what you did back then and like what advice would you have if you if you was like looking back at your younger self that you would apply today? Because there's a lot of things that I would have done differently though too. Because when I was coming up, I used to think like, I wanted to always keep it underground. People's like, yo, don't do commercials, that's selling out. And for me, I kind of took that attitude like, yeah, you are right. And everybody was selling out. Everybody came out here and started doing commercials movies no i wouldn't say that but that's a way that's a, that's being la narrow minded to the culture right or to yourself or selling yourself short from opportunities that we work so hard there's people that pay okay let me go back to saying this new york city breakers was a battle in gold Run. where wherever rock state was they were looking to battle them mm -hmm. but you see it in 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 the movie movie is nothing compared to the way they were out outside of that. Like we went looking for them. We pulled up in the rocks. It's like what? You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> uh, first class when they battled the first class right after B Street. Like no, it's not over. You know, it's never been over. It's like that that continued rivalry with one another, off uh, even off the screen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, that we always, always had in that perspective. Um, What's that? What were we talking about? We were talking about, um, like, advice, you know, what would you oh, give so to, the like... advice, based yeah. on all that, is, I am going back to not doing... Bro, do it all. Enjoy the moment. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the journey. Go outside the box if you have to. You know what I'm saying? I would recommend it to everyone. You know what I'm saying? Don't sell yourself short from any opportunity. I don't care if it's a miss from Yeah. You know what I'm saying? put in the work you know what I'm saying because at the end of the day some way you have to eat in the process of doing this you mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying right you know um, um, I was sharing with somebody earlier it's like yo if you believe then succeed mm -hmm. it's just that simple right follow your instinct find your gut no matter what anybody says put everybody on the shelf let the haters hate just keep doing what you're doing because that's your journey mm-hmm you want to go commercial? Go commercial. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone's got to eat. Mm -hmm. You know? If you want to keep it raw and keep it in the hood, keep it in the hood. That's right. what, you know, whatever you're comfortable in your own skin. But at the end of the day, I'd say sometimes for me, I found out when I went a little commercial myself, I came back to the essence, got re-energized, and took it back out there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that way I can, you know, I can keep moving. You know, for some reason, some people drift off. But I like Flips. I saw Flips yesterday, and he's doing. He's a stunt guy. Yeah. Doing stunts. He's, I'm like, what? Another element. You know, now we're doing stunts. We got B boys doing this. We got B boys doing that. We got. Do do it all, bro. If you can, and any opportunity, because we didn't have those opportunities. Yeah. All those opportunities. What you dance for a president? You dance for this? You dance for the queen? Yeah, that's great. But when you're going and doing stuff like commercials and stuff like that, movies, you know, I got robbed from being in B Street. <laughs> oh, so man, we got to talk about that. Yeah, I got robbed from being in B Street with New York City Breakers. And I did the audition with Harry Belafonte. You know what I'm saying? And we even auditioned in front of the director. And, oh, that's another documentary. Yeah. But anyway, 
What I'm saying is, is that take advantage of any opportunity you got and live it to the fullest when it comes around once. That's it. Closing words. Oh, I'm always saying this with everybody been sharing it lately. It is because it, it, bro, love yourself, love others. One thing you want to do in this business or in this industry when you get in there, put the attitude on the shelf. I lost plenty of jobs in the past because of my attitude, my street attitude. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you, if you want to succeed in this and you want people to really, you know, gravitate to you, put away any attitudes you have and go in there with positive love um, and be the best person you can be, man, because people are attracted to positivity. True. And people always put away that negativity push away the negativity. And even if you get big, as big as you get in this business, if your attitude stinks, yeah. you're coming right back down on the ladder and you got to face those same people. That's true. Trust me, and you don't get no love. Yes. So put that hate on the shelf. And not only that, but a second portion of this conversation is, is like, you, we just went through a pandemic, my bro. Mm -hmm. We've never been in a pandemic. Mm -hmm. Our parents were never in a pandemic. And we lost a lot of people for it. So what I'm saying to you is, do not take life for granted. Live today like it's your last day. Yes. We only got one shot at this life. Do your best to be the best person you can be mm. while you're here. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. that. Love you guys. Peace and love. Peace.